What a game. What a game. What a game. Ooh, those night night as Cowboys game was unbelievable. Ooh, man. How excited was that? How excited was that? Ooh. Oh, Lord. That game was awesome. I didn't need a lot of points on the scorecard. I didn't I didn't need the score to be 37 to 30 for me to be intrigued by that type of game. I didn't need that. I'm not afraid I'm not afraid to watch defense play defense. I'm not ashamed of that. I love to watch defense games like that. Defense is part of football. It's part of football. And I love and I, I and I loved it very much. And the I, t- I bet I said it multiple times. I truly underestimated the 49 defense because my mind was so focused on other teams and their defense, and the Dallas Cowboys was one was one of them. And the Dallas Cowboys showed me why. They showed me why. Like Brock Brock Purdy couldn't get off. He couldn't get off. But I, I predicted, I said that. I said that on Friday's episode. I don't expect Brock Purdy to go off like that. The, I expected the lights to be too bright for him. And it was. He made some mistakes in this game, if you if you really pay attention. He made some mistakes. He made some rookie errors. The commentators talked about it. Um, Kyle Shanahan was was in, was in in his ear about it on the sidelines. You know, you see Brock Purdy rolling his eyes on the sideline, not because he's like, "All right, coach, I get it," but because he knows coach is right. You know, he made some he 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 made some errors. He played like a rookie, but the best thing that he didn't do, he didn't turn over the ball. That's the best thing you could do, man. You didn't turn over the ball. He didn't put points on the score, but he didn't turn over the ball. And and down the stretch, down the stretch, he made some really good plays down the stretch, including that 30-yard pass he he threw to George Kittle that George Kittle caught after the ball bounced off his face mask. I, I thought I thought he was gonna miss that. Let me tell you, let me tell you, watching the game, I seen the pass, I seen the ball bounce off his hands. My mom was like, he missed it. I turned my head for a moment. I have I have my daughter and um, um I have my daughter with me. I'm um, in the apartment with me with her mother. My daughter was doing something. She did something. I, I forgot what she was doing. She did something that, that got my t- my eyes off the TV for a moment so I could see what she was doing. But my mind already said she, I mean, um, Kittle's missed the pass. George Kittle, he, he already said he missed the pass. I look, I turn back, I turn my head back up. I see George Kittle stomach on the ground. I see his hands on the ball. I'm hearing cheering, and I said, and I said out loud, "Did he catch that?" I'm watching the replay. The man caught that pass. I say, "Yo." He actually caught that pass. Before the replay came, I was waiting for the replay because I want to see how did he catch it. Like, how did he catch that? I watched it bounce off his hands. How did he catch that? The replay showed it actually bounced off his face mask. And he somehow still stretched his his long ass arms out. Determination. Determination to, to make a play. Despite the play look, look like it's dead, it's not dead yet. He gets that play, and f- and for what for what I understand, that fueled the the 49ers offense to to you know continue to strive on on this play. Continue to strive on on this play. I believe it was like a 91 yard drive to um a Christian McCaffrey um touchdown. By the way, Chris, Christian McCaffrey had a very, very pedestrian game until that touchdown. Very, very pedestrian game. Did not, did not expect a game like that from McCaffrey. The defense, the Cowboys defense went hard again in, in this game. 
everybody game except for George Kittle was very, very pedestrian. Debo Samuel couldn't get off. Receiving or rushing. He had he he had a, a good carry of rushing for, for, for eight yards. And that was about it. You know? Um the rest of the um the 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 rest of the receivers didn't really do much. Nobody no nobody on the Niners other other than Kittle Samuel had more than thirty receiving um receiving yards. Nobody. The offensively, the game was very, very slow offensively. Not because of bad offense, because of great defense. Cowboys played great defense. Great defense. The games were close. It was 12-12 for the longest. It um it was a halftime, it was 9-6 because because Robbie Gold is an awesome kicker. Friday's episode, I made a promise I'm going to get this man's names right. I didn't think it was Gold. I thought it was like God or something. Or, you know, I, I thought I didn't think it was Gold, but it is pronounced Robbie Gold. Okay, fine. Robbie Gold. Like, what a what an awesome kicker he is. <laughs> What an awesome kicker he is, man. Like, just just magnificent, man. Like, like no like no no type of fear. It don't matter if it's a 50 yarder, it don't matter if it's a if it's a um a 28 yard or whatever. He's gonna make his kicks. And he made his kicks. He had four kicks, he made all four of them. He made he made all four of them. All four of those kids, you know, he was, he was, he was, he would not be denied. He was a main component of, of continuing to put points on the score, the scorecards for his Niners. Brock Purdy had no touchdowns. We had no interceptions. It was all about the defense. It was all about the defense. Both defenses, both of them. Cowboys defense. They they came out they came out strong. They came out strong. They only had they only had two sacks, but like the tackles, they they were they they was they were pressuring the quarterbacks. They was you know they was they was make they was stopping they were stopping Purdy f- from. Get in the end zone. The most you're gonna get out of out, out out of us is a field goal. Same with the same with the um, the the Niners defense. The most you're gonna get out of us is a field goal. You know, it was very, very excited to watch um uh Amikai Persons to watch him play, but he wasn't the best defensive player on on, on this team. He, he you know um Vanda Esch, he made some he made some, some great plays. Malik Hooker made some great plays. Devon Bland makes made some great plays for the for those Cowboys. You know, um the offense the offense was, was trying. CD Lamb, he actually got 117 receiving yards. But everybody else didn't do anything. Shaw didn't do nothing. Noah Brown didn't do nothing. T.Y. Hilton, Miles Ward has not been in the game. I hope Tony Tony Pollan is, is, is okay, but he, he ended up breaking his leg. Ezekiel Elliott had a rushing game like he had basically the whole season, 26 yards. That's basically what he did the whole season. Zeke the Freak, that's that's done with. That's that's been done, done with for a moment now. Tony Pollard is basically is basically gonna end up taking his, his spot as as um running back one next season. Most likely it's gonna happen. Unless unless Ezekiel Elliott's contract is too high. So in that case, make a trade. Because it's, there's no point having Elliott and Poland in the game. Paul is gonna, is gonna get frustrated because he's making some great plays just to let somebody else get the get the touchdown or the third down play where he he's way more capable of doing so himself. 
and his yards is not is not his carries and his yards is not getting as high as as it could be. But I hope I hope it's, I hope he comes back healthy next season. I wish I wish him health, wish him well and everything. So, what happened to the 49ers? I mean the um, the Cowboys' offense then. You know what happened to the, Cow the Cowboys' offense? That Prescott had a game that he was supposed to have against the Bucks. Two interceptions. That was my prediction that he was going to get against the Buccaneers. I should have waited one extra week. He got that against the Niners. Two interceptions. He's good for that. He's good for a two interception game. Usually he'll give me he'll give me three touchdown passes with those two interceptions. No, one touchdown pass with that with that um interception. And that one touchdown pass went to Dalton Shores, who and that's basically the only thing he did throughout the whole game. Because he he was getting targeted. He wasn't catching he wasn't catching his, his passes. He wasn't putting up yards. The best receiver of the game was C.D. Lamb, and, and I hate to say this, but if C.D. Lamb is your best receiver, in the, your best receiver in the game, you are most likely not going to win. At least you're not going to win a meaningful, a meaningful game. C.D. Lamb is not wide receiver one, so it's, if he's giving you wide receiver one numbers, you're not going to win. You're just not. You know, C.D. Lamb is like Devontae Smith for the Eagles. You got Devontae Smith. That's 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 going to give you eighty. Maybe maybe a touchdown with that 80 yards, but then you got AJ Brown that's gonna, that's gonna give you 100 plus with also a touchdown and some big plays to go with it. That's what you need. If you got CD Lamb giving you giving you 170 yards and you got Dalton Schultz giving you 27 yards, and everybody else is giving you less, you no, know, 20 uh, around 20 yards or less receiving yards, and you got you got your quarterback, um. Turn over the ball twice? No, that's not a game you're not you you're going to win. Well, the, the the players who kept this game close was the Cowboys defense. The same Cowboys defense that that caught my attention the whole season long. The whole season long, this, they're the ones who caught my attention, and they're the ones that came that came up strong for the Cowboys, but not strong enough because the Niners. I heard about I heard about this by the middle of the season. I never said it. Cause I never saw it myself. I've been hearing since the middle of the season that the Niners is the best defense in the NFL. I was like, mm, I don't know. Niners fans is the one who said that to me. Then I, then I started hearing it on TV. The best defense in the NFL. I don't know. They sure look like the best defense in the, in the NFL. Um, on 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 Sunday. They sure look like the best defense in the NFL on Sunday. Because even though they even though they, they, they had just as just as many um big big defensive plays as the Cowboys, they had they had different defensive players getting big tackles like the Cowboys. Hell, even the kicker got got a tackle in this game. They had um they 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 Kept the score low, just like the Cowboys did. The only difference that they did, Fred Warner, Diamondor, Lenore. I know I put you his name. I my my apologies if I did. They they the two defensive players of the 49ers that got the ints. They forced. Turnovers. The cow. That's something the Cowboys did not do. The Cowboys did not force turnovers. Brock Purdy got over 200 passing yards. That Prescott got over 200 passing yards. Br Brock Purdy did not. Did not. Did not score the ball. The, the the football. That Prescott got one touchdown. The big difference was the 49ers defense forced. That press got to turn over the ball, and Brock Purdy did not. They gave more more scoring opportunities, more opportunities for Robbie Robbie Gold to to kick to kick the four field goals he was able to kick. 